team success, a business's success, a nation's success depends on leadership. Leadership is the intangible quality that inspires people to advance. Leadership gets people to focus on a worthwhile objective, and leadership provides the energy to keep people advancing despite hardships and challenges. In an ideal world, in an ideal family, or in an ideal organization, every individual will recognize the best objective, the goal that advances their interests and the interests of all other people. But in the real world, most people do not recognize worthwhile objectives on their own. Someone else raises their sights, opens the door, blazes the path. These are leaders. While we tend to think about leadership in a variety of dimensions, leadership is fundamentally about inspiration. Leadership is about inspiring people to act. A leader inspires by offering vision and fueling action. Leadership is about nurturing people's internal energy of desire, their drive, by crafting, creating, or revealing a worthy goal and stirring the resolve to act. A leader is someone who inspires, who provides a worthwhile vision, and by means of a positive example and persistent encouragement, keeps people moving toward that vision. Most people have supervisors. They answer to bosses, business owners, or board members. They respond to the wants and needs and desires of other people. We operate in a culture with political structure which distributes legitimate authority to enforce laws, maintain the peace, and operate a functioning society. But while we all recognize people in positions of authority, we are mostly confused about what it means to lead. Most people consider being in a super superior position or possessing formal or informal authority as the equivalent of leading, but that just isn't so. When talking about good and bad leaders, we hone in on certain attributes and characteristics. We point out leaders as being people that possess things like confidence and strength and the ability to direct others. We think of leaders as people who can direct us to do things, tell us what to do. We often fall back on an authoritarian model of leadership. The authoritarian model misses the essence of leadership. Ultimately, every individual is responsible for his or her own actions. Leadership facilitates, inspires action, collective action. Here is a way to determine whether you are leading or being led. Characterize the encounter by means of two simple gestures. If the action to be completed comes down to a direction, you are not being led. Or if you're directing someone else in a way this is akin to pointing, you are not leading. Call it what you will, informing, educating, enlightening, activities that pass on insight or information, or call it coercion, compulsion, intimidation, direction, pressuring, command, control. These are power methods, influence applied with the threat of punishment or loss. These tactics are not leading. They are not leadership. If it comes down to pointing, the engagement is not leadership. Leadership is always expressed another way, by means of another gesture. Come with me. I'll show you the way. A leader is someone who takes the lead, who advances at the front, who moves deliberately toward a valuable destination. A leader is someone that by their advance inspires others to move forward, to aspire to something more, to something worthwhile, to do more, to become more. Now my definition of leadership is not mainstream. In my definition, real leadership can only be about achieving something beneficial, something worthwhile for others. Leadership is never self-serving or selfish. Real leadership is selfless in that by fulfilling a purpose, by moving towards some worthwhile end, the actor leads. That is, he or she inspires others to be, to do, to become more. Leaders don't point. They don't declare and direct. Leaders, through their actions, through their words, and most importantly, through their deeds, inspire others to follow. Leaders inspire people to go where they would not have gone were it not for the inspiration of a worthy example. Leadership does not divide. It does not distinguish between the haves and the have-nots. Leadership is the act of advancing, and by advancing fearlessly, inspiring others to follow. Come with me. Let me show you the way. This is leadership. Remember this distinction next time you are in a position to lead. People will follow when they know you care about them and they trust you to help them get to a better destination. People will follow you anywhere when they know you will endure the hardships along the way and share the weight of the load. Lead by gesturing people to follow. Lead by example, not by pointing them on their way. If you have a comment or would like me to come by to speak to your group, drop me a line at scott at cachieve.com. I'm Scott Parody with Success 101 Workshop. Till next time, all the best.